Hey you guys, it's Rachel Ray Lou 77. As y'all can tell, I'm just fresh out of the shower. Um, but it's 1.36 and I need to get this video in. I've been real busy today painting my daughter's room where we're moving. And um, things are just crazy right now. Um, I will be moving this weekend. Um, so needless to say, everything. I mean, it's just a disaster right now. And I, I'm such a control freak. Look at me with no makeup on. That's terrible. Anyways, I'm such a control freak that for me to live my life upside down is just, it freaks me out. So, but it's okay. I need to let go of some of these um, controlling ways anyways. This is my Way in Wednesday video. I would like to, to come to y'all more organized and put together and know what I'm fixing to talking about, but I don't have that capability right now, you guys. So, um this today's weight and y'all know it's going to twist turn do all that good stuff uh it's 247.5 yes and last week was 248.4 which puts me down nine ounces which i am perfectly content with because i lost 9.1 pounds last week um uh let's see All in total, I'm down about 14 pounds in the last four weeks. Um, this week, I have not been in the gym as much as I should be. I think I've gone, Leah, stop doing that. I think I've gone two times in the last, I don't know, probably two times this, this week, you know. Um, I did kill it when I did go, but I've been packing, moving, doctor's appointments. It's the end of the school year. Thursday, um, we had a tornado come through here. I, me and my daughter were at my mom's. I just happened to be off that afternoon. Um, and, I mean, it, it destroyed my mama's home. It destroyed my truck, her truck. It was a terrifying experience, you know, to hold, to behold your daughter as she's, you know, begging mama, I don't want to die. It's just not a good experience, you know. And, you know, my mom is 60 years old has been in a uh, bank when it got robbed and that was the scariest moment of her life. For me, of course, you have fear of dying, but at that moment as a parent, as a, as a daughter with your mother right there, your biggest fear is watching the people that you love die in front of your eyes. So with everything that's going on right now, with all these storms in Oklahoma and, you know, Louisiana and Texas, we've been battered. Um, I mean, when you go outside my mom's home, there's not even a leaf on a tree, you know. It just destroyed so many people's homes, and so many people don't have insurance, you know. It's just been really, really stressful to see everybody go through this stuff, you know. But um, we're alive, all the, you know, here in this area. Um, all those people in that neighborhood survived, even though their homes and material things didn't. So, um, you know, it, it is a blessing, you know. Um, Anyways, the reason I'm saying this is because my I haven't my workout hasn't been as you know root, it hasn't been routine at all, but I still have the utmost desire. I'd rather be working out than doing what I'm doing any day of the freaking week. Um, Saturday is going to be a killer because I'll be moving all day long and it's 90 degrees in Louisiana. Um, so I'm going to talk that chalk that up to an exercise because I'm not going to the gym after that crap. I can tell you that. Um, let's see, uh, food. Food has been good, you know, I don't consume over the right amount of calories, but I tell you what hasn't been good is that it's just not quality food, you know what I mean? It's not as quality as it should be, um, you know, meaning just healthier types of food, you know. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it. I, you know, I haven't seen a gain at all this week. I mean, it's just pretty much hovered in this, you know, 247, 248 range. Um, so it's pretty consistent that way, you know. Um, don't know what's going to happen next week. You know, we'll see. You know, it's kind of exciting to not know what is going to happen from week to week. Whenever you're putting in the effort, you know, um, even though mine hasn't been full force um, in the gym six days a week like I normally do, I still do what's right 90% of the time. And I park further away. I don't ever park up close. I always take the stairs. You know, I just make those different choices than what I used to would have made, you know, so, you know, sometimes it's just the small things that help you either not gain, maintain, or even lose a little bit, you know, nine ounces is still nine ounces off my body regardless. Um, this past couple of weeks, I've had really bad struggles with self-esteem issues, 
but yet I come to y'all, you know, with no makeup on and hair looking a mess. But um, anyways, yeah, I've, I've been struggling real hard with that, and I think it's because when you go through these transformations, there's people that start out at 240 something pounds, so they're like, that's just like massive to them. Well, I started out at 330 something pounds, 337. So for me, there's been a huge transformation in my body and in, in my, um, then you get confidence, you know, you get a little bit of confidence about what you're doing, and then you notice that there's different attention from different, you know, from men and stuff, and um, so then you kind of focus more on your appearance, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with being focused on your appearance. I want to throw the paint on my finger. My fingernails are going Anyways, um, but I think where it goes bad is when that becomes just your value of your self-worth is what do I look like, you know, and I don't want to be valued by what I look like, you know. Um, I think that it's unrealistic to say that that's not going to be something I, I want to feel good about and you know uh, uh, you know it's kind of my thoughts are just so all, all over the place on this matter um, I think it's a huge flipping issue for me self-esteem and not wanting to be attractive to men is one of the reasons that I put on the weight that I did um, so that's one of the reasons I'm having a hard time is whenever you go from getting no attention to getting a lot of attention um, it kind of triggers a thing in my mind about what I'm being valued as you know what I mean and and that's unfair because it's not like I don't look at a good-looking man when I see one you know so that, I mean it's a very unfair thought process but it's uh, it's kind of what happens with me so I'm in therapy of course y'all know that um, so I'm dealing with these issues I'm dealing with everything that I'm feeling and I feel much much better this week you know I just I really really do I have a friend and he really really lifts me up and makes me feel a lot better about myself um you know not not just hey you're gorgeous or this or that you know you know it's you're a mother of a beautiful daughter that you've done an amazing job at you know you're accomplishing so much in the weight loss department and um you know just learning to you know just being independent you know making a decision even though me and will get along great to not live my life unhappy you know you know to not settle just to be with someone or just to be financially stable you know um and like i said he's a good he's a good good person it's just you know it just sometimes people just don't work out there's really no major aha moment to it you know uh next week i definitely want to ramp up i know this weekend realistically what is today wednesday thursday friday saturday i'm seeing Honestly, I'm seeing little to no exercise because I will be finishing painting. Let me put Rocky back up there. I'll be finishing painting my daughter's room tomorrow. I will start cleaning the carpet in the back room, which will be my room. And I will do a video for those people that do care um, about where, you know, I'll show y'all the home where we're, where we're moving into and, um, you know, once I get it set up. But this weekend is about getting everything set up, you know, just getting the animals suited to their environment. Um, you know, it's home to me, you know, I've, I've, it's just been, it's been home since 1986, you know. So, um, with my dad, um, he, you know, I gave him a shot yesterday. He has to take shots once a week because he's anemic. And then he's also got a cat skin coming up to check his, uh, the progression of his Alzheimer's. Um, so, you know, this is the right decision for me. You know, I need to be there for him. I need to learn. I need to, oh my God, I've never given somebody a shot in my life. You know, it's just... You know, but these are all things I need to do and I need to learn to take responsibility for and not be so skittish about everything so that I can be his main caretaker. You know, I don't, if, 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 if at all, not if at all, I will not put him in a home unless it's just for a period of time and, and probably not even a home like a hospital because I understand that sometimes they have to be on IVs or whatever. And my dad's in good shape. Don't get me wrong, you guys. We're talking about long term. I'm not talking about tomorrow. But through these health issues I need to learn how to take care of him because I don't want anybody else doing it you know it's my it's my job you know he, they raised me and I, I, I believe you should take care of your parents when it's your time you know and um, anyways and he's a hot mess y'all he really is I love him to death but um, anyways that's my weekly weigh in and my ramble you guys I'll come back to you next week and I'll give you any information I can no good advice right now it's just because I'm doing so much you know but I love each one and every one of y'all, and thank y'all for watching my videos. Thank you for the lovely comments. I honestly have not been able to watch a bunch of videos here lately, but I will catch up. I'm putting them in my favorites so I can save them off to the side. So, 
Anyways, y'all have a blessed, wonderful week, and I will see y'all next Wednesday. Bye.